Okay, I know y'all have heard those rumors of what went on in P. Diddy's house when Usher was his teenage protege, but I am here to tell you that those were allegedly not just rumors. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. All I can say is that I now understand why Usher would never sign his child up to the infamous puffy flavor camp, because a lot of messy things actually took place there. So when Usher was first signed to LaFay's Records as a young teen, he was given to Diddy as a mentee. And at 14 years old, Usher moved to New York to stay with him. However, P. Diddy himself accidentally revealed that there was more than just mentorship going on at his household. Like when he did this super cringeworthy interview with Kevin Hart. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't know what you just saw, but from my end, Usher's face looked uncomfortable as hell when Diddy said, we used to wake up. He was just looking at him like, man, be quiet. And I also find it a bit sus that he tried to clown Kevin for getting too close to the bed in the beginning of the clip. And then right after that says he and Usher used to wake up together. Also, recently, there's been this video that has been making rounds on the internet. That's just crazy. Take your time with it. Breathe it in. Yeah, they yours when you go see this for you. This ain't for nobody else but you. You take your time, boy. I see you. Fly ass motherfucker, baby. You in the kitchen. Eating all my cereal. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Doing what in the kitchen? Did y'all just hear what I just heard? And you want to tell me that people exaggerate when they say weird things went down when Usher was living with Diddy? Yeah, right. Anyway, for his part, Usher has never really been open about exactly what went down with Diddy, but he gave some hints, like during an interview with Howard Stern, Usher was like, I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was well, it was only a matter of time before Diddy introduced Usher to the wild side of life. And Ed Lover also once recalled a time when he went to a club and Usher was drinking in the company of P. Diddy. And I look to my right and there's a kid, a kid standing there drinking champagne. Oh no. And I couldn't help but wonder who the hell let their child come into this club, stand in the VIP section, and drink champagne. I mean, guzzling champagne out the bottle. Apparently, it was only after Usher's album dropped that he realized that the child with P. Diddy at the club guzzling champagne at the VIP section was Usher. Okay, as much as Usher didn't say the obvious, he did reveal that questionable things actually took place in the house. There was also a time when Usher was on the cover of Essence magazine, and he sort of let it slip that something did go down between him and Diddy. First of all, he was very cool when asked about other things like how he would continue to pursue movie projects and somewhere down the road a new album and several business ventures he said something that you should know about me is that i'm a businessman before i'm anything else look at the capabilities of martha stewart or russell simmons or sean puffy combs or even 50 cent with g unit look at what they did with their licensing this is my opportunity to do the same clothing and shoes are kind of the standard nowadays so i'm trying to figure out how i can come at it from a different angle however when the talk turned to his time living with P. Diddy, Usher became surprisingly restrained. And he said, I want to save some for my book one day. I'll put it this way. There was a lot of and before y'all go after the parents and how they should have protected Usher from Diddy, Usher himself confirmed that his parents had no idea what was going on when he was living with Diddy. She, Mary okay. J. Blosh, they didn't know nothing about this shit. In fact, his mom apparently tried to get back at Diddy, and I know this because back in November 2022, there were also reports that Kim Porter's former stylist was about to drop a tell-all book on Diddy. And according to the stylist, Diddy slept with different men on multiple occasions. And the stylist has also said that Usher's mom confronted Diddy about allegedly being intimate with Usher after she found out what was going on. Allegedly, Kim also had video footage of Usher and Diddy getting it on. 
going. But I guess we'll never find out whether the video is actually there since she died under very mysterious circumstances. The stylist also clarified that even though Kim met Usher after the alleged intimate relationship with Diddy, somehow she was able to get her hands on the incriminating video. And it makes me even more suspicious when I consider that when Kim passed on, her house was robbed and two laptops were stolen. Mm-hmm. And you know why it's not even that hard to believe that Diddy possibly took advantage of Usher? Cause there have been other disturbing allegations of Diddy being on the DL. Like when Orlando Brown casually said, Yo Diddy, you gave me the Ushka Skushmash. You gave me the Ushka Smooth. The Smooth Diddy. Yeah, son. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gave me the Ushka Smooth. I love it, yo. I love it. Jaguar Wright also spilled some serious tea about a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams having a moment. When she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because, you know, they didn't stop. Didi's ex-bodyguard Gene Deal actually confirmed that whatever Jaguar said was nothing but the truth. He said, yo, Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Even 50 Cent straight up said that Diddy is on the DL when he posted a photo of Diddy and Rick Ross, a photo that was taken at an angle that made it look like they were making out. He also posted a shot of Diddy wearing a pink shirt while embracing a former record exec also clad in pink and wrote in the caption, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right, LMAO. 50 Cent was also once confronted on The Breakfast Club about saying that Diddy is on the DL and he didn't even deny it. Let me read okay, it. Read. Oh my God. Sorry I can no longer Shows help confused. you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under the leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow, Dinner Thieves. In addition, Exhibit also once revealed that P. Diddy treated him to the gayest night of his life. And then, uh, you know, he, he's doing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music. And then he say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, then it's girls in the club too. And then she pointed another direction. It's another dude over there like, what? You see, with all these people saying all these kind of things about P. Diddy, it did make it easier for some to believe that he possibly took advantage of Usher when he was younger. And don't get it wrong. I don't have a problem with Diddy's sexuality, whatever it is, straight, gay, bi, that's not really my problem. But if he's taking advantage of people because of it or took advantage of especially way younger men, then there's a huge problem. Well, a lot of people are probably waiting for the time when Diddy will get exposed like these other Hollywood weirdos. And I have a feeling that it will happen, but probably when he's old and no longer has the clout that he currently has. Think Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, etc. Sadly, the truth is no one wants to rock the boat with Diddy right now. So it's all just speculations and allegations. And fine, even if Diddy didn't actually sleep with Usher, did he still expose him to a life he shouldn't have? Uh, hell yeah. Did Usher do things he shouldn't have when he was younger, courtesy of Diddy? Uh, for sure. And was the relationship they had still very creepy? You already know what my answer is to that. However, I'd still love to know your thoughts on this entire mess with Usher and Diddy. Do you think Diddy took advantage of young Usher? And do you see a time when Usher will probably come clean and speak his truth? Sound off in the comments below and let me know all of your thoughts on this tea.